one of the ways of uh, in of identifying that it is polyphagous is to take uh, a sample of the fungus, uh, so, so scrape off the upper layers, uh, bark layers, and then literally take a take a wood sample of that, try not to touch it, uh, and then just put it in a clean Ziploc. Please remember the Sharpie is also important. Open the Ziploc. Get the wood sample into the Ziploc. That should be sufficient. And then please use a, use a Sharpie to put down uh, the relevant details on the bag. Having taken the, the wood sample, um, a Ziploc bag, a clean Ziploc bag is ideal, uh, but please remember indelible ink pen, a Sharpie, just write down the relevant details on the bag in terms of uh, name, contact number, uh, farm name and ideally orchard. Uh, because we're going to get a lot of these things going through the, the diagnostic system. The reason we take wood samples is uh, doing genetic analysis is, is definitive. Uh, it is really accurate. Doing the genetics on the beetle is problematic and an industry funded MSc student developed a method of identifying the fungus very quickly uh, and, and efficiently. So the fungus is specific to the beetle. It doesn't occur anywhere else. It's a fusarium species and as noted specific to the beetle. So the assumption being if you've got the fungus in your tree you've also got the beetle.